Hello and welcome to our 2021 virtual open house. My name is Christopher Ewan and I'm the proud principal of Our Lady of Perpetual Help School. As a father of four children here at OLPH, I know what it's like firsthand to find an education system for your son or for your daughter. A safe and caring environment, faith and education, strong academics, and a sense of community and belonging. I hope this video provides you and your family the information that you need to select OLPH for your son or for your daughter for the next school year. Let's begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly loving Father, thank you for creating this beautiful world. Thank you for our school, our parents and students. Protect our parents and our students. Bless them abundantly and help us to grow together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Lady of Perpetual Help School is a Catholic independent school in the Kamloops Diocese, located on the north shore of Kamloops. We have many families enrolled here at OLPH of many denominations, not just Catholic families. One of the benefits that I personally enjoy is that we get to share our faith with those around us. The first thing you'll notice walking through the hallways of OLPH School is our students are in full uniforms from kindergarten all the way through to grade seven. A clean and unified look provides an opportunity for our students to focus on the academics and their relationships. Polar bear is a great hunter. Real fighting is very dangerous for polar bears. So males play fight. I have three daughters that attend OLPH. I have one daughter in grade seven, one in grade four, and one in kindergarten. It wasn't a hard decision. OLPH has a, a solid reputation for its academic programming and its athletic and music programs, and it's faith-based, and I'm Catholic. So those were some considerations that my husband and I um, were looking for for our daughter's education. Frozen bits of water falling from the clouds. Is that water vapor? Is that condensation? Oh, they, my kids love OLPH. I haven't had a day yet where they haven't wanted to go to school. Even, not even just my children's teachers, but anybody in the school knows the child's name. They welcome them in the school. My name is Jeanette Milnichuk, and I am the office manager here at OLPH School. I'm the welcoming committee for all those that enter through our doors, the mum, that fixes those owies and ice packs. They're just always warm and welcoming, and I think they really, really care about their job. You can really tell that they put effort and care into everything they do for the kids. Here at OLPH School, we have the opportunity to have specialist teachers. We have a PE specialist and a music specialist. Our PE specialist focuses on skill developments at a very early age, scaffolding those skill sets all the way through from kindergarten again up to grade seven. My name is Stephen Rowell, and I am the PE Specialist here at OLPH. Come sit the whiteboard, please. We have three guiding principles. Respect, and respect would be respecting the equipment, respecting each other, respecting the rules. And then we emphasize safety, and then no screaming, which is a very, very big deal in the primaries, is we try and teach them that if they're screaming, it's a real reason, either they're in pain or in danger. Being a PE specialist, we, we cover a very wide range. We started off with volleyball, we moved into floor hockey, currently doing basketball, and after spring break, when the weather allows us, we'll be moving outside and moving into soccer, track and field, and then some softball. With 27 city championships and growing, one can understand that we are very competitive when it comes to sports. Do you hear the 
difference between the high note and the low note when my instrument gets bigger. So, is this gonna be high or low? High, you got it. Our music program is in my opinion second to none. The opportunity to read musical notes at an early age, to playing musical instruments, and to have a two-year band program provides our students the opportunity to expand their rights, not just within the confines of their classroom, but also their music and artistic abilities as well. My name's Samantha, and I'm the music specialist at OLPH. It's busy and it's never boring. I'm back and forth between being a total goofball with a bunch of kindergarten kids and then being a band director. Uh, we do our Christmas concerts, so there's always the performance aspect. We've also got a choir, so they rehearse before school and really great group of kids that are really dedicated to singing. She does the little thing that goes down and out. It looks and like goes, a whistle. Whoa! Kids in the lower primary grades, we just learn to sing and move their bodies expressively to music, uh, mostly through games and fun activities. Starting in upper primary, we do music literacy, so they start to learn how to read and write music. And then grade four and up are our instrumental classes, so they start to learn drumming, recorder, and we have two years of band. The smaller class sizes mean that we can get a lot further in a year. I find that the kids here progress a lot quicker because we can do that individual instruction. Um, I can spend one-on-one -on -one time with the kids who are struggling a little bit more. Okay, so I am just going to make some patterns on mine. And then I will cut this one and I will flip it and glue it down. And I will cut this one and I will flip it. And it will just be the opposite side, positive and negative, okay? You can't go wrong in art, right? Can't go wrong, I always say that, okay? When the school is small and everybody knows everyone, uh, that gives you a feeling, a sense of uh, like a family, a close relationship that you build with the staff and with other families as well. Other teachers, maybe from the older grades, already know your child's name when they're in grade one. So I feel like they're always gonna feel that connection with that teacher when it's their time to go into that grade. Uh, well, we entered OLPH a little bit later than some of the other families, and we came here because my son was diagnosed with a learning disability in reading and writing, which is also known as dyslexia. And so we signed him up for grade four, and he's changed into a different child completely. He was a child with anxiety, hated to go to school, had tummy aches, headaches, and now he is excited to go to school. And he's now reading and writing successfully with supports of Google Read and Write. And I don't have any doubt in my mind that he will be successful in life. Our special education department here at OLPH is very tailored and individualized and personalized to each individual student. Lots of one-on-one -on -one instruction, many support workers, caring, making sure that they have everything that they need to be successful in life. My name is Vera Helenan, and I'm the learning assistance teacher and special ed teacher at OLPH. Different kids come in, some who need help with learning, some who just need a quiet space, some who just need to relax a little bit. Before COVID, we had nice beanbag chairs in there, and they could sit down and just have a place to get grounded again. And then if they needed a little bit of extra help with reading or math, that's a place they can come as well. But I also work in the classroom, call it push-in, so that I can help not just the person who needs help, but the other kids in the class if they need a little bit of extra assistance as well. New for 2021 is a French teacher at OLPH. As many of you know, in the BC curriculum, core French begins in grade five. What a beautiful gift we can provide our students and our families to have French as a second language beginning in kindergarten. You'll be able to experience that firsthand starting in September. We have a hot lunch program at OLPH as well. Our Red Seal Chef provides meals four days a week to provide your children with healthy, nutritious lunches and many culturally diverse meals as well. 
I think that the chef makes pretty good food. I mean, the food looks delicious. It's great because you just order online, so you can pick and choose. If you know your child doesn't like a steak sandwich, then they don't have to get the steak sandwich, you know what I mean? So it's kind of helpful too, because I don't want to make lunches every single day. And they have a family dinner uh, on a Thursday that you can order, and that way the families get to enjoy a um, nice dinner at home. When we do our daily activities, such as driving a car or taking a bus, it causes carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases to release into the atmosphere, causing climate change. Traditionally, we would have term report cards three times a year. It's a snapshot in time. While valid, we know that there is a better way. Something I'm very proud of here at OLPH is our integration with FreshGrade. FreshGrade provides us an opportunity to connect with our families on an ongoing basis. Images of their work are shown, sometimes movie clips of their child presenting are shown as well. So parents have in real time exactly what their children are working on. You know, sometimes I'm not the best at reading emails, <laughs> but it's an app on my phone. I'll get an alert, I get to go see what my child is doing in class, what she's maybe having a little bit more trouble with or what she's excelling in. One of the unique opportunities that we've now experienced with FreshGrade over the years is the conversations that are happening at home. So when I pick up my children from school, I ask them how their day was. The typical answer obviously would be not much, or I played with my friends, or I went out for recess. I can show my children uh, that post, and it, it just it magically jogs their memory. And yeah, Daddy, I, I remember reading that book, and this is what we did today. And for me, to be able to journey with them when I'm not with them is, is a, just a unique and beautiful opportunity that I know that I can provide for my children uh, as they journey from kindergarten through to grade seven here at OLPH. I'm Father Vijay Martin, the pastor of Our Lady of Perpetual Health Parish. As a pastor, what role do I play in the school? Besides taking some of the major decisions in the school, I do visit our students every week. If they have any doubt or questions, I try to answer them. Faith isn't just limited to a religion block. In the morning, it's woven throughout our day and it defines how we teach, how we approach the kids, how we discipline. It was a little bit of a concern, like, is that strange for somebody that's not of any practicing religion to come to a school that has a religion? But it's been no problem at all. I think it opens your child's mind to different ideas of the world and how people see things. Above all, we help our students to believe in themselves and believe in others. We help them to respect themselves and respect others. We help them to grow. Some of you may not know that OLPH School also owns and operates its own childcare facility, providing daycare, preschool, and kinder preparation. Another advantage of our childcare facility is the before and after school care program. Many families appreciate the opportunity to drop their children off here at OLPH from 7.30 in the morning till 5.30 in the evening, providing great flexibility for work and giving them peace of mind that their children are safe here at OLPH. I would tell any parent just to give it a chance. I myself actually attended OLPH from kindergarten to grade seven. You know, my kids were taught by three teachers that I had. It's just more like a family environment here. Everybody knows everyone. 
I chose this school as a parent because I didn't want faith to be an add-on. I wanted it to be a part of their daily routine woven into everything. I would encourage any family to come here. Here at OLPH, it's not just the student and the teacher, it's the child, it's the staff member, the family, faith. That's what OLPH is all about. I hope this video was very informative for you and your family to consider joining OLPH and our school community. I thank you for joining us and I look forward to meeting you soon. Air on air battle, pew pew pew. Uh, tell me, did you know that Mrs. Perzon's son is recording you? You're Mrs. Perzon's son? Hi Joseph. Hi Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Joseph. years old. We're the same height though. Yeah. See? Friends? Same height. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. friends. Everyone's friends in our class. Yeah.